Church, welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today I want to share, uh, today I'll share with the beginning of the first message devotion uh, over the next four times I'm going to share with you. All right, speak positively, speak positively. Human beings, we are very negative, but we must learn to speak positively because the way we speak affects our lives, our health, our emotion, our mind as well as our spirit. So this is a very serious matter. That's what I want to share with you during this pandemic season. It's so important to speak positively. So today I'll share with you the first thing, Philippians 4, verse 13. It goes this way, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. You know, when you can't choose or control your circumstance, you can still decide how you will respond to them. Paul was in prison, you know, uh, when he wrote, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, he was in prison. You know, we address those here today, you know, uh, who, uh, who have a perpetual pessimistic outlook on life and talk negatively most of the time. You know, some of us talk negative all the time. You know, and this is a serious stuff and we have to take care of it. We have to remember why this is important because Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who lose it will eat its fruit. What comes out from our mouth that we speak positively, negatively, pessimistic or optimistic you know it, it, it somehow affects us what we speak and how we speak affect every one of us and this is scriptural truth we need to take note of amen so we don't always recognize when we are engaging in negative self-talk because it's habit forming we have formed habits these bad habits in our life to self negatively speak to ourselves and we unconsciously develop a compromised will, a will of ourselves when we constantly think and say things like, I am such a loser. This is too hard, even why, why even try? I don't have what it takes to do it. I'm going to die. The sickness is so bad. Pandemic is so bad, I can't do it anymore. It's so difficult to breathe, it's so difficult to live, and so on and so forth. We settle for defeat when, with a few minor attitude adjustments, we could open the door to amazing possibilities. So don't settle for defeat when you can open the door and make some adjustment in your attitude, the way you speak. And that uh, you will open doors to amazing possibilities in your life. The worst part of negative self-talk is that we don't just limit ourselves. You know, we limit God in doing great things in our lives. I want to say one more time. The worst part of negative self-talk is that we don't just limit ourselves. We limit God. That's why Psalms 78 verse 41 says, Yes, again and again they tempted God and limited, you saw the word, and limited the Holy One of Israel. The way we talk, the way we talk down on ourselves, we actually limit God in doing the miraculous, the possible things that can happen in our lives. So be careful. As His redeemed people, Recites within you is the power to think, to talk better, and to do better. Remember this. You may ask, does the Bible say that? Yes, it does. Paul says this, you know, in Ephesians 3 verses 20 and 21. Let's read together, shall we? Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to you know, to the power uh, that works in us, to Him. You know, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Now, today, 
learn it and learn it well. It's time today to draw a line in our lives and declare whatever God says about I will say to. Remember this again. Whatever God says, I will say it to. Don't say the opposite. We are bringing death. We are speaking death to our own life, to our circumstance, to our situation, to our businesses, to our finances, to our health, to our to, to, to our depression state, to, to, uh, to the way we live. And here is a great verse to get you started. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I've read in the beginning. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Amen? Amen? It's a choice and only you can decide for yourselves. The choice in your is in your hand. Choose the path of life. So decide to choose rightly today. Amen. What is that? Decide to speak positively into your own life, into your own situation, into your own circumstances, into this difficult, challenging time of your life. And God will do the impossible and will change your outlook and change your life and the way you look at things for yourself. Amen. Amen. Let's do it together, shall we? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you will bless every one of us Help us to learn to look positively and speak positively to our own life, to our own situation, the circumstances, the challenges that we face in our lives. And that we know when we speak that we will lift our spirit up and strengthen ourselves and put a cheer and strength into our lives and our spirit and give us tremendous hope. This we pray, we ask for you, bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.